Hi, I'm Adele, a canine behaviourist and training advisor here at Battersea. And today I'm going to show you how to introduce a clicker when training your dog. Clickers can be a useful tool for training as they're a clear and concise signal. This allows the dog to recognise that a successful behaviour has been completed and that a reward will follow. Where we usually mark a behaviour with a yes, marking with a click can be far more effective. Clicker training is useful for strengthening known behaviours and teaching new ones, which can be fun for you and your dog. A clicker can also be a clear marker to change the way your dog feels around certain triggers that they might be fearful of. When you click is the key to success. The click must come exactly on the desired behaviour and you must provide the reward within three seconds. If you don't, this could frustrate your dog and reduce the effectiveness of the click. So timing here is key. Before you train your dog, you must train yourself. With help from a friend, you can practise your method and timing. Ask your assistant to bounce a tennis ball. The aim is for you to click the precise moment the ball hits the floor. The ball could be dropped at different heights, speeds, or not dropped at all. This will help to test your accuracy, observation skills, and response times when using the clicker. Before you start training, you need to associate the clicker with something positive. This teaches your dog to anticipate a reward after they hear the click. Begin in a calm environment without any distractions. If your dog is food motivated, you can use some of their dinner to avoid using too many treats. Have some food to hand, but out of your dog's sight, and hold your clicker behind your back. When your dog is nice and calm, simply click and follow up with a food reward. Repeat this process several times. You will soon notice that your dog's ears might prick up or they will look at you when they hear the click. Remember, even if you accidentally click, you must still reward your dog to keep up that association. Don't hold your clicker like a remote or direct it towards your dog as this could be off-putting. If your dog is noise sensitive, you may need to use the clicker in your pocket to muffle the sound. Now that your dog is anticipating the food, you can start to introduce the clicker as a marker of desired behaviour. Sit. Ask your dog for a simple cue that they already know, such as sit or down. As soon as they perform the behaviour, click and reward them. Sit. Practice this regularly over a few short sessions so that you can improve your timing and your dog can get used to using the clicker. Now we're going to show you how to utilise a clicker when teaching something new. The example we will be using is getting your dog to go to a mat and settle. We're going to use the clicker to mark each gradual step that your dog achieves towards the end behaviour. Start by clicking and rewarding any interest your dog shows in the mat. Delay the click until your dog puts a paw on the mat and then click and reward. Repeat this until your dog is reliably putting at least one paw on the mat before you click and reward. Next, wait until your dog puts at least two paws on the mat before clicking and rewarding. Continue this process until you are only clicking and rewarding for four paws on the mat. Now you can progress to asking your dog for a down when on the mat and only click and reward this. For full steps on how to teach this behaviour, see our video on how to teach a settle. When using a clicker for training, try not to say too much to your dog. Let the clicker do the talking. Learning something new can be tiring, so make sure you give them regular breaks or go back a step if they are struggling. If you'd like to learn more about how to teach your dog the Battersea way, visit our website and follow our channels.